Lord, we thank you for this moment. We're grateful for the opportunity given us to come celebrate your birth. Father, it's all about you, not about us, not about self. We thank you. And this moment we say, glory and honor be unto your name. And we ask that you who has begun a good work in our lives today, Lord, may you be with us. Holy Spirit, may you be with us. And bring this service to a fruitful end. And at the end thereof, Lord, may we have the just cause to say that you be with us. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. And may all the saints say, Amen. Amen. We thank God for this day. Today is the 25th. I remember last year was a Saturday. I think last year was a Saturday, yeah? And we had a good time here. Today is the celebration of the birth of God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And for that reason, the service is going to take a different form because it's a celebration. Amen. Amen. But I want you to sit back and take it all in. Because Jesus thought about you, God thought about you. Even when you were not born and put a plan in place for you. Amen. And that plan was initiated or advanced today. It emerged today. I have a program outlined here first to come and sing to bless your heart and glorify the name of God our son and brother James Jr. Amen. Come, come and just a silent night it was a holy night amen 
go on to a Bible reading. And without wasting my time, we call the first Bible reading will be done by our daughter and sister, Miss Daryl Addo. So I want you to come and give us the Bible reading. Amen. Today is a celebration. As I... The first Bible reading will be taken from the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 26 to 38. Book, the book Luke, chapter 1, verse 26 to 38. The Gospel of Luke. And this is the Word of God. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one, the Lord is with you. Verse 29. But she was greatly troubled at the saying and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Verse 31. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call him his name Jesus. Amen. Verse 32. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. The verse 34. And Mary said to the angel, How will this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month with her who was called barren for nothing will be impossible with God the verse 38 and Mary said behold I am the servant of the Lord let it be to me according to your word and the angel departed from her amen God has planned it all and the angel have to come in I love the reading and it says that Mary was bothered because how can this thing be? Amen. Many a times we find ourselves in places that we begin to ask questions. How possible? But when you read that in the verse 39 of that scripture, what does it say? The verse, the verse 39. It says, In those days Mary's arose, Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country to a town in Judah. Amen. Amen. Mary acted. Amen. Sometimes we ask ourselves, how can this thing be? Whilst all we're supposed to do is just to act. Good word. Baba Alaska. Mr. God, God bless you and welcome. We appreciate you worshiping with us today. Amen. To any faith. It, it doesn't happen easy. To any faith landing on Sundays. Amen. Yeah, so if you are here, I know it's a blessing to us. God really bless you. Amen. So we go into the second ministration. Second ministration, I want to call our daughter and sister Annabelle to bring us word. The ministration. Today is just having fun. We're just enjoying the... Holy night. 
Lady Reverend Emma to bring us the Bible reading. Amen. Our second Bible reading is taken from the book of Luke chapter 2 verses 1 to 20. I'm reading from NLT, New Living Translation. Amen. It's in the birth of Jesus. At, it, at that time, the Roman Empire, Augustus, decreed that the census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire. This was the first census that was, that, that was taken when Quirinium was governor of Syria. Verse 3, all returned to their, home, their own ancestral town to register for the census. And because Joseph was a descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea, David descent ancient home. He traveled there from the village to Nazareth to Gal Galilee. Verse five, he took with him Mary to whom he was engaged who was now expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for her to have to be born, baby to be born. She gave birth to her first born son. She wrapped him struggling in straps of clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no lodging available for him. The shepherd and the angels. Verse 8. That night there were shepherds staying in the field nearby, guiding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared among them, and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified, but the angel reassured them Don't be afraid. He said, I bring you good news 
that will bring great joy to the people. Verse 11, the Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. And you will recognize him by the sign. You will find a baby wrapped snugly in straps of cloth laying in the manger. Verse 13. Suddenly the angel was joined by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven, praising God and saying, Glory to God in highest heaven, the peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. When the angel has returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem and see these things that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. Verse 16. They hurried to the village and found Mary and Joseph, and there was the baby lying in the manger. After seeing him, the shepherd told everyone what has happened and what the angel has said to them about the child. All who heard the shepherd's story were astonished. But Mary kept all these things in her heart and thought about them often. Verse 20. The shepherd went back to their flocks glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. It was just as the angel has told them. This is the reading of the Lord. Amen. Amen. When the angels appeared to the shepherds, said this is the sign by which you will know that this is the one that has been born and you shall find him wrapped in swaddling clothing in a manger and the bible said they journeyed toward bethlehem sometimes in order for you to find the will of god for your life the savior to you you need to travel to bethlehem you don't sit at home you don't sit at home. Your salvation is not in your home. They were turning to their sheep. The Bible said, and they had to travel to Bethlehem. And then they found the one that has been born. Sometimes you need to find, but it's not in your home. You need to go to Bethlehem. Let's take a song ministration. From our sister Daryl. Daryl, come and minister unto us and give glory to God. Amen.
newborn king. But we'll do the third Bible reading. Amen. And that is taken from the book of Matthew. The chapter number 2, the verses 1 through the 12. And it says that the Magi visited the Messiah. The Magi are the three wise men, as some versions put it. And they presented a gift. Remember the previous scripture we read said that the shepherds who were in the field went toward Bethlehem and presented a gift. Amen. The book of Matthew, the chapter number 2, the verses 1 through the 12. And I read from the King James Version. And the Bible said, Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, verse 2, Where is he that is born of the king of the Jews? For we have seen his stars in the east, and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. Verse 5. And they said unto him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the princes of Judah? For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. The verse number 10, number 7, sorry. Then Herod, when he had pre Privily called the wise men and quite of them diligently what time the star appeared. Somebody said the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed and lo, the star, which they saw in the east, went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. Verse 10. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, and frankincense, and men. The verse number 12. And being one of God in a dream, that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. This is the reading of God's word. The Bible said, when they saw the star, nobody told them to follow. When you see the glory somewhere, nobody should tell you to follow. Because the star will always lead you to where you're supposed to be. Somebody did not hear me. Remember, Herod said, although he was the king, he has no ability to see the star. Anytime a star is revealed unto you, it means that God wants to bring you to another level. God wants to lead you to somewhere. So although they were all there, the child has been born, the star was revealed to the wise men, not Harold. I pray that even as you celebrate this time, may a star in the mighty name of Jesus be revealed unto you. 
May a revelation be given you about this birth of Jesus. The Bible says that when they got to the place, they fell on their knees and worshipped him. It is not about holiday. It's not about enjoying the season. It's about worshipping the one that has been born. Opening yourself up wholly unto him. That is what Christmas is about. It's not for us to take vacations. The next on the program, we have some performances. And we'll bring our sister again and daughter Annabelle and JC Ado to come and perform unto us. All to the glory of God. Amen. Yes, you do. Father is brothers. 
As we said, it's all about the celebration of the birth. It's all about the celebration of the birth. And I thank God for your life, availing yourself, so that God can use you in his house. Amen. Many are out there planning other things. Around this time, people are opening presents. They are not Jesus, but they are opening presents. Amen. So I appreciate you for doing what? Availing yourself, celebrating the birth, and if there is a present for you, you open it. It means that you put God first. The Bible says that, and the shepherd, they do not consider because they had sheep in the field. They went to Bethlehem. The wise men in the field did not consider what they had. It means that they left it and went after the star. When Jesus is born, it shouldn't be about you. Hello? It shouldn't be about you. It shouldn't be about you. Without wasting my time, Pastor Coach is here. I want Pastor Coach to come and say a word or two. So without wasting my time, Pastor Coach, you are, you are invited. Thank you. It was a wonderful time. I'm greeting all of you in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, sister. Thank you for coming. Lord, give me an opportunity to come here. And uh, you, all of you, and a wonderful job. Especially your amazing sound. Beautiful sound. Beautiful sound. For uh, it's an amazing. Let me ask you two questions. That question is very important. What did you do all our life? You are a Christian, right? Whatever you, what did you do all your life? How do you spend your time to think about it? How do you going to spend the coming year? How do you going to spend your time? Time is most important thing. The New Year message I'm going to talk about the timing because I ended my life. I'm I want to be busy man all the time. I I don't when I was youth I never go watch the movie. You know why? Because I don't want to, in the Indian movie or most of them are three hours. Two and a half to three hours. But I don't want to spend my time to keep making the money. I don't watch any 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 football or any games. You know why? Because I don't want to spend my time until they are making money. I my time is valuable. Even I childhood always I, I learned that. So think about it. What you going to do? What is your purpose of this world? Jesus born in Bethlehem, there is a purpose. Why I born over here? Do you have any purpose? Do you think about it? Think about it. So, last week, so this Thursday, somebody called, one of the pastors called me. I preaching a lot of uh, prayer lines when Pastor called call, call me, and uh, and he uh, tell me, I have, Pastor, I have uh, some good news for you. I said, what is that? We are planning to start a Bible college, a small Bible college, not taking any theological teaching, just only your teaching, only kingdom teaching. So I was so glad. I'm so proud of Lord. Lord, teach me what I'm teaching to them. They said, we see the results. I said, when you say, do this way, mean that way, does it? And the, some people are coming. The one person said, 
when I when I went to the place and I saw I, I cast the demon out and he didn't see anything going out but the when attorney came to him to pray for him and the, there is a dark case are coming to to us to him saying pastor pray for me and teach me you know the the few operate the kingdom you will see the result if you don't see the result it means you are wasting your time i'm always telling the people why are you wasting your time to pray all the junk you telling the good news oh the lord this is happening over there this is happening there and that is like all the thing world problem are you talking about the your problem and you are praying to you about all the problems that is not the prayer the prayer when you pray something you have to see the result if you are not seeing the result don't waste your time so my question why jesus born in uh, uh, in bethlehem as a good question but uh, now my question is why is in a major can i borrow this one the swaddling cloth and uh, put in a major now, this is supposed to be major you think about it why it is a major there was no in the lord god almighty cannot provide him for somewhere you cannot provide any place why in a major why is in uh, to talk to the uh, shepherds do you have any idea you have any answer sister you have any answer how long you've been a christian for a long time right what about you eh uh, what the purpose why he born and he, they lay down in a manger why lord sent the angel to the shepherds that's an important question right there are how many people know about the lord born only shepherds and mary and joseph and few people over there that's it why is in the manger how many mansions are there in the in Bethlehem on that time? How many? Huh? Huh? How many? If there is a lot, did they give did the angel give any address? Then how they will you go? If somebody said to you, hey, you go there, uh, you will find a baby there in the manger, and where you go? You go around the baby, go all around the house and look for a baby in the manger? There is only one manger in Bethlehem. Because when the shepherds go around, and what do they do? They take a manger to their, their flocks. When the, the firstborn on the, the animal, that has to be sacrificial lamb, sacrificial cow, for whom? For the Lord God. So because of that, they only understand where is the manger. How many people understand? So many people came over there. Rich, poor, educated, uneducated, lo local people, all people are there. But Lord does not send anybody, the angel, he does not send the angel to anybody, only the shepherd, because they understand he is a sacrificial lamb. Everybody say, he came as a sacrificial lamb. That's the first thing. First message, I'm sending my son for as a sacrificial lamb. If Lord given me any house, he cannot be, cannot born over there. It will not be swaddling cloth. Why the swaddling cloth? If the animal born, the, in a two minutes it will jump, right? So you have to wrap it up and put it there. And you tell you know, all the uh, shepherds are saying, you are the sacrificial lamb for the Lord God. So we are going to be perfectly keep you. That is a message for that one. So next one. Lord, give stars. Only one star shining 
in the east east means not african country not in other country not china not the zone is all of almost india eastern country is in the middle east is in the arab country right east is in india so wise people are coming from there you born in africa you born in ghana you i born in india is a special purpose for that lord have a special purpose why you born in this family because he have a special purpose for you everybody has a special purpose you are a unique person in this world Amen. tell your neighbor neighbor you are a unique person in this world you are a unique person in this world he want to use you don't spend your time for nothing mm. don't waste your time if you spend your time keep using it for important things i don't waste my time because i know time is valuable time is money Time is very valuable. Time is not waiting for you. Yeah. Time is going very fast. Money is going very fast. We have to spend years on the dog. Don't hang around with all the all the dirty people. Time is valuable and use the time for better things. Amen. Our time, we don't know. Yesterday, one of one of the Indian pastors he came to see his uh, daughter. And uh, dinner is over, and he go and sleep in his bed. In the morning, he will, he, they found a dead body. Jesus! How many people are dying so fast? We don't know. The, the death will not come for the. Oh, you are old. I'm. You are going to die. Oh, you are young. You are going to die. No, no, no. If that is no. Uh, Respect of person. No problem for anybody. <laughs> it, it will come and kill you from the time. <laughs> So do you to keep your take your time think about when you take the word of God meditate in how it will work for me mm. meditate every day amen and how can I, how can i get the god's uh, wisdom and use it for my for my lifetime amen okay now jesus is born as a lamb next one the Matthew chapter 2 he read for it well can you read that six, six to eight in the Bible says and thou Bethlehem in the land of Judah uh. are not are not the least among the princes of Judah for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel verse 7 that's an important word which, word, which version is that that's King James King James for the all Jewish people, are you the king? That is a question. Yeah. They are looking for the king. They know Christ is a king. And when the when the, all the wise men come, where is the king born? King of Jews. All people scared. Who is that king person? So what? Why the star come and stand? in front of the palace i don't understand that that star is bringing them to see that jesus christ is that right yes why star came over there and stand think about it their fools are coming they're wise people why they came because the lord called father one to proclaim whole world the king is born mm. He want to proclaim, my born. son, the king of kings, he born, he want to proclaim whole Jerusalem and all scared. Mm. All the kings are, oh my God, who is that king? They are looking for the king, they couldn't find him. Why? Because the Lord want to declare, my son is born, king. Before the shepherd, they, they only know. Now, Lord is declaring the king is everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So two things. That one. The when you when she read Book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 6, is she said, Can you read that one? The Bible says that for unto us a child is born. And to us a child is born. Unto everybody says a child is born. Child is born. But everybody say, but, but. Mm -hmm. 
the son is given, given. to you yes. everybody says son is given to me son is given to me child is born son is given, given to me and when he is the he brings of peace he is a prince of peace how many people have no peace mm. when the peace, prince of peace is given to me then my house should be in peace yes that or anybody cannot enter in my house mm. no evil spirit come on in my house because i want a peace yes so i am going to close it today uh, everybody is celebrating christmas but as a Santa or a gift or anything, but I'm so glad I came over here. I see how the celebration is going on in your your country and your people, and it was so glad. I'm so I come came over here and visit your church. Thank you, Pastor, for giving me an opportunity. God bless you all. These words don't spend your time for nothing. Amen. Lord bless you. God bless you. No, you can do it better. You can do it better. Don't spend your time for nothing. Amen. The people who seek Jesus, they are not just ordinary. They are not just simple. You see, you can be ordinary, but the moment God reveals himself unto you, he catapults you from the ordinary to an extraordinary. He did not reveal himself to fools, as Pastor Coach was saying. First shepherd, the message went to shepherd. Who is a shepherd? Somebody who has something under him to control. Lives. When you look at the meaning of the word used as shepherd, it's a shepherd of a flock. So it could be they shepherding a bunch of what sheep goats or a priest a pastor somebody who is in the vineyard of god and god sent the angels to them he did not send the angel because the people were rich no because the people have lives to take care of anytime god reveals himself unto you it means that you have been made important because you have lives that you need to impart. I said I'm not preaching today. He did not reveal himself to the fools, to the rich, but rather wise. The people who have wisdom. Because the Bible said in the book of Proverbs that the merchandise of wisdom is far exceeding the silver and the price or the giftings of gold when you have wisdom the one who has gold comes to you for advice god did not reveal himself to those who have gold but those who are wise so i want you to know don't take it for granted if god opened the window of revelation for you to see him make a move it's not because of you the bible says that and the shepherd the moment they saw the evidence of the revelation they went abroad telling everybody of it there's a purpose there's the reason why god gives you a revelation reveals himself to you even the understanding of christmas the birth of jesus is not everybody who is preview to it it's not everybody people don't understand why christmas and they there are a lot of argument out there but christmas is for you to know that whatever god has purpose for your life whatever god has planned for you has been initiated amen so in the book of first corinthians the bible says that when you talk about the lord's supper it says that when you do this you do it in remembrance when you bring that into remembrance it causes you to walk well so when we are remembering the birth of jesus 
it's not for us to just have parties. It's for us to come to our senses that God has a plan for us and that plan, he initiated it. A plan to reconcile us unto himself. And how was he going to do it? He gave his only begotten son. He gave. The son is given. The child is born. Because the word used the son is the one who causes the family to increase. You increase the family. I said I wasn't going to preach. But let's take note. When God, don't use your time, Pastor. Don't use your time for anything. Use it wisely. And when God opens the window of revelation for you to see him, know that there is a purpose. Christmas is not about parties. It's good to make merry. Because when there is joy, you make merry. But the focus shouldn't be the party should be what? Jesus. And don't go give gifts to anybody if you haven't given gifts to the house of God. I'll say it again. Because the gifts you go first to Jesus before yourself. Amen. On that note, God bless you for coming to church, coming to celebrate the birth of Jesus. I know next year is going to be maybe Monday or Saturday, something. One of the days. But we believe in God. It will be Monday. We believe in God that when the time comes, we will bring to remembrance what God has purpose for our lives. On that note, God bless you. Online church, we say God bless you for joining us. God bless you for celebrating Christmas with us. There's the reason why Jesus was wrapped in a swaddling clothing so that he would not be washed in he will be perfected. He will not be stained. He will be perfected. He will be perfect on toward sacrifice. I want you to take note of that. There's a reason why God does everything. There's a reason. If you are going through anything, you don't know why. Ask God, because there's a reason. On that note, God bless you. Online church, shalom, peace. I decree that may the joy of the season be your portion. In the name of Jesus, whatever has saddled you, may this season be the day, the time that this sudden breaks. Mm. In the name of the Bible says that it shall come to pass. That the yoke shall be broken off your shoulders. If the anointing shall come. When the anointing comes, there is a breaking of you. When Jesus is born, there is a reason. I decree that may that reason begin to manifest in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. May it not be by word, but may it be by deed. May you see the manifestation. May it not be that God has just said concerning my life. But may you see the manifestation Amen. of what God said in the name of Jesus. Amen. May you see the manifestation. Amen. David said, I shall not die, but I will live and declare the works of the Lord. Jesus. I speak that word over you. Amen. May you not die. May you see the end of the year. Amen. May you de- see, live and declare the goodness of God Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I pray. May you say, it has been the doing of the yes, Lord. Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. God Amen. bless you. Shalom. Peace.